Well, now to a story you will only see on Ken's Five. In one of his first sit-down interviews since he won, Congressman-elect Greg Gassad is just weeks away from being sworn in to the U.S. House of Representatives. Last month, the 33-year-old won overwhelmingly in the House District 35 race, which spans from Austin to San Antonio. The progressive leader met with our Henry Ramos about his plans when he gets to D.C. What can we expect out of you um, now that you are Congressman-elect Greg Kassar? Well, I try to make sure that we are walking the talk. From city council to Congress, Greg Kassar is ready to bring his progressive ideas to the nation's capital. Because we know a better world is possible. In November, Kassar won the U.S. House District 35 race that covers East Austin and goes through Hayes, Comal, and Bear counties. Kassar says he ran on a bold, unapologetic platform. He is part of the new freshman class, the youngest in recent history. I, as a young person, want to respect uh, and learn from the elders that have taken us this far, but also want to use my energy uh, to immediately get to the work of raising wages for working people uh, and, frankly, living up to San Antonio's civil rights legacy. The progressive Democrat says he wants to tackle what he calls the big issues. Of reforming the Supreme Court, addressing climate change, raising worker wages, trying to bring abortion rights back but then also the day-to-day -day issues that people care about here in the heart of San Antonio. No easy task for the new kid on the block. Casar is stepping into the House where Republicans have the power. If we can negotiate good policy, I'll sign on to policy, Republican or Democratic, if it takes care of civil rights or economic fairness for people in San Antonio. I'm ready to compromise to move us forward. I'm just not willing to compromise our values. Those that maybe don't necessarily fall in your line the other side, speak to them. We're going to be there to serve you because my job is to make sure people have good schools and have a safe retirement and have a representative that's going to do public town halls and will take hard questions uh, and be honest. Another promise from the congressman-elect is to have a big presence in our city. He says his biggest, if not one of his biggest offices, will be here in San Antonio. It will have a district director and constituent advocates who he says can help families and link them up with federal agencies or resources that they may need. Casar will be sworn in on January 3rd. We're live just north of downtown tonight. Henry Ramos, Kins 5. ECs. Thank you, Henry.